And welcome back to the vlog. As you can hear, it's dumping rain. I'm going shed hunting. Can't let the weather stop yet. But today is basically my last day to shed hunt this year. I'm uh, going to get married and then traveling some and got a bunch of work stuff coming up. Not to mention, probably the real reason why shed season just kind of has to wrap up at a certain point is the grass starts to grow up and literally will bury a lot of these sheds that are out in the woods. So here we go. trailhead it's a uh, rain gear kind of day it's 35 degrees it's raining at the moment but about a thousand feet up I see snow in addition to my rain gear this is the Sika dew point rain gear I've also got some rain gear for the camera this is called a lens coat and it's basically just a sleeve that goes over the camera keeps the rain off it's not a waterproof solution but you can definitely keep the rain off your camera. All right, let's uh, let's go for a hike. Check out this uh, in the field tripod right here. All right, uh, perfect. <laughs> so about a month ago, I bought a 10 mil handgun. I bought it primarily for bear protection as well as human protection. And I've always had it mounted right here on the side of my vinyl harness. And actually what I found is that I can like get that pistol out and ready and like ready to fire in like two and a half seconds, which is pretty quick. But my bear spray, like less than a second. And so lately, my last couple trips out, I've actually opted to run my bear spray right here on my vinyl harness. Um, and then as a backup, I either have a second can of bear spray in my backpack or I have my pistol mounted on the side or on my waist belt on my pack. So again, I can just deploy this bear spray quite a bit quicker. And then today I'm walking up this creek bottom primarily and I got the wind in my face, it's loud. I could really easily walk up on a bear. And so what I've been doing is I've been running the strap off of my bears right here. So normally I would have the strap up here and on and to deploy it, I would have to pull the strap up, grab, deploy, which is really easy. But if I have the strap off, all I have to do is grab it and deploy. Whether you're running a handgun or bear spray, I think the biggest takeaway, mount it on your bino harness because anytime you drop your pack, if you have your bear spray mounted to your pack, all of a sudden you won't have it with you. But if it's on your bino harness, it's always with you. All right, let's keep shit up. Old chalk. Sometimes when it rains it pours, I spotted that shed, and then I looked to my right about 30 yards, spotted another one. So let's go take a look. Kind of looks like two sheds. Oh, they're frozen. <laughs> Old white set right next to each other. Cool. Well, two of those antlers are in pretty rough shape, but this one's in decent shape, so. Gonna take this one, leave the other two. I used to live by the rule of no shed left behind, but I uh, don't anymore. Been here a while. Take a little back bear track here. Pretty small. 
Father's Day is coming up here pretty soon, so I just wanted to share a few gift ideas that I use a lot out in the woods. First off, trekking pole. This one is a backcountry elite trekking pole from Peaks. It's a really burly trekking pole. It's also lightweight. It compacts down to nothing. It's pretty rad. I really like this thing. So trekking pole, number one. Second is the backcountry duo headlamp from Peaks. This is my favorite headlamp of all time. It's crazy bright, a thousand lumens on the bright end. It's got a white LED as well as a red LED. Battery life lasts forever. Can't say enough about these things. Also, this thing, it, uh, it rotates 180 degrees down. I can't do this with one hand. Hold on. All right, there we go. So with this headlamp, you never have to worry about putting it on upside down because in this housing, it rotates a full 180 degrees. If you put it on like this, doesn't matter. Rotate it. If you put it on like this, same deal. Doesn't matter. Crazy bright. Also, if you want to save 10% on either of those items when you're in checkout, uh, just use code Drake, D-R-A-K-E. You get 10% off. Well, losing daylight, starting to snow. Time, uh, time to get out of here. Thanks for following along. If you like this vlog, hit the like button. If you want to see more, please hit subscribe and tell all your friends how awesome it is. Thanks. <laughs> we'll see you next time.